Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm that sim racing bloke and today we are sim racing on a mobile. So because I'm a massive masochist, I thought why not try and lap the Nord's life using controls on a mobile phone. I found this app that basically turns your phone into a gamepad and yeah we're just going to give it a go. So this button up here on the top right is throttle, the one on the top left is brake which I'm not going to be able to use because I'm going to have to take my thumb off the steering. I have turned all the assists on, that's what the driving line's there, do not worry I don't usually have it on. But so far it's actually going alright, I'm going to see if I can brake with my left hand here. That seems to work well, but it is a bit clumsy. And as you can tell I'm in VR, because like I said I'm a masochist. And I enjoy pain. But let's pick up some speed here. If you are if you want a sim race and you're on a bit of a budget, this should be a helpful video for you. Hopefully by the end of it you'll learn that you should just save up for a wheel. Because this is not worth it. My hands are getting tired already. And we're not even 10% the lap ups. Actually we're probably a bit over 10%. But we're not very far and it's already getting a bit tiresome. Uh, it's not very e ergonomic like a wheel is. Have a brake here. I th this is actually going well. It's better than when I played on an actual gamepad, surprisingly. I don't know what the science is behind that, but <laughs> yeah, it seems to work. Now this is the tricky part. Coming up at the top of this hill. Oh, that was a bit of a big steering input. Don't need to brake here. The driving line's so bad. Who even uses it? We cut this curb here. Have the brake. Turn him. Of course, if I wanted to uh, step up the challenge, I could just use manual gearing, but I don't have enough hands for that. So this is what we're dealing with. And we're on the grass. Now we're going to have to dab brake here so I'm going to get prepared on the old left hand in brake. Dab it a couple of times, there we go. Yeah I'm actually doing so much better than when I played with a uh, Xbox, three, no Xbox One controller. A few years behind there. Now the fun part is going to be on the uh, near the YouTube corner where all the camber changes are. Because you're probably going to have to count the steer a lot up there. Whoa. Big braking zone here. I think this is the biggest braking zone on the track. But we're not going to need to brake that hard because we're not going very fast at all. Hands are starting to cramp. This is not very comfortable. Have the brake here, so we turn in. No, oh, there, there's a downshift, that's what I was waiting for. It was a bit late, I could have done without downshift sooner. Now, big long straight, up to the Miss Hit Miss I believe. Don't know what the German name is. It'll tell us on that sign but we're going too fast to read it. No! See, that's why you always keep your eyes on the road. First lesson in driving. Now, I'm trying to find the throttle but there we go. Now another long straight. Hug this line here on the left. You don't need to do that in a faster car, but when you're in something like this, the uh, milliseconds add up. We take it wide just to get around here. There's no chance of reading those signs. Now we're coming up to Bravery Corner. 
I'm not going to touch the brake. I'm just going to lift the throttle for a split second. Yeah, we could have gone a lot faster through there. Well, careful here because it's very easy to do exactly what I just did. But we managed to uh, save it somehow anyway. Now we're coming up to the infamous carousel. And a break on that red text all there. And of course the breaking of throttle is always what happened there. Just the throttle there it is. As I said, the break and throttle is either a hundred percent on and off. But that's probably why I can stretch the um breaking zones a bit. Oh my god what is going on? And of course I have all the assists on so Brakes don't lock up like usual. That would be absolute hell if I had uh, ABS off and traction control to be fair. And it finally makes sense why I'm doing better than I did with a gamepad. Because of the assists. And I've lost the throttle again. Where is it? Oh no. I'd be interested to see this lap time. If this sub 15 minutes. I highly doubt it though. Actually, I think we've going, been going at a pretty good pace. Maybe 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. Now, this is the part I was talking about of all the camber changes. Hopefully, we won't have to count or steer too much. Oh! What in there then? Oh my god. That's YouTube corner there. Can't find the throttle again. There it is. Oh, this is actually a really uncomfortable position to sit in compared to holding the steering wheel, which is like perfect ergonomics. Oh. Now, this is a very fast part of the track, so we're going to have to be careful here. Oh no, we're going to hit the grass. No, we're not. Fine. So we just need to dab a brake here to get the weight on the front uh, axle. Perfect. Now we head to the sign. We'll brake in, turn in. Apex here. Hit the kerb on the way out. Just give it a little kiss. Now we're coming up to the second carousel. It was a bit tight to the inside of the track there, but it's fine. I've lost the throttle again. Oh, there it is. So if we're going to need to brake here. No, fine. Now a big sweeping right hander on a downhill. With no braking involved. Look at that. That's such a beautiful corner. Now we're onto the straight. So yeah, overall I'd say if you want to get into a set of Corsa or sim racing on the budget, do not do it on a mobile phone. I cannot see any way you could be competitive or even put in a decent lap on a mobile phone like this. Um, yeah, just play on a gamepad and get good at it, I guess. Or better yet, save up for a wheel. There's the diner and the tourist and fighting entrance. Now we're coming up to the final section of the uh, of the lap. This is going to be tricky to get this right. I don't know why I hit the brake there. I'm going back to my new ways of looking at racing line. Back when I used to play games like Need for Speed. Uh, who plays that these days? To be fair, Need for Speed Underground 2 was a banger. 
Oh no, break. There we go. All throttle. And that is a lap. So, that was sim racing on a mobile phone. Make sure you hit those like and sub buttons if you want to see more. And leave a comment down below on some more challenges that you're allowed to see me do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.